Welcome to Loyal TV. We're in Seminole, Oklahoma. This place was named for the indigenous tribe that settled here and has weathered oil booms and busts to eventually become a quiet, history-rich rural center surrounded by rolling farmlands. But let's go back to Seminole's earliest days as the tribe lays down roots that still remain in the town that bears their name. In 1891, a remarkable new school is being built by the Seminole Nation. The tribe calls it Mikasuki, meaning where the chiefs meet. It is meant to be a place for the next generation of Seminole boys to grow and prosper in this new American society. And as such, no expense is spared. The Tribal Council agrees to spend $63,000, a vast fortune in those days, to build and equip their new Temple of Learning for the Progressive Era. Jim Tidmore, the contractor for Mikasuki Academy, signs for multiple teams of oxen and mules to pull building supplies all the way from Atoka and Muskogee, nearly 100 miles away. Finally completed, the Mikasuki Academy is a grand building, towering four stories high above the plains. The redstone structure is divided by thin floor-to-ceiling windows, accented with conical spires on the southeast and northeast corners. Inside the impressive structure, there is actually running water. A wooden water tank expands and creaks as fresh water is pumped in from a neighboring spring. Clanking pipes surge as students clean up after meals in the basement level. The kitchen is attached to a dining room filled with long wooden tables. Above them on the main floor is the superintendent in his office and living quarters, meticulously keeping records of each student's performance in the classrooms, music room, and assembly room. It's bedtime as nearly 100 students and 20 faculty get ready for sleep. The crackling fireplaces on each floor are supported by remarkable steam heating that keeps everyone warm through this frosty night. Finally, the last electric light turns off and all are at rest. Ready to spring up early and feed livestock, tend the farm, and collect milk and eggs. But progress had its price. This idyllic learning experience for tribal children soon had storm clouds gathering around it. The school operated under the tribe until 1906, when the federal government took over all Indian schools and began consolidating. In 1911, Emma Haga Academy for Girls, an equally magnificent structure built by the Seminoles, was merged with Mikasuki. During this time, students could no longer practice their traditional spirituality or allow the language of their ancestors to escape their lips. Today, a historic marker on State Highway 50 marks where this once proud building stood. Although it was eventually destroyed in a fire, the legacy of Mikasuki has been preserved by the Seminole Nation and the National Register of Historic Places. The last remnant of the school, the steam room, has been incorporated into the Seminole Nation Business and Corporate Regulatory Commission. This allows the building to continue to support the economic development of the nation's future in a different, but still very important way. Browse bankfirst.tv for more of the best Oklahoma stories you've never heard, only on Loyal TV.